the only ones heading back into the classroom. Yeah, that's right. In the Elm City, New Haven's newest teachers are getting some help and support so they can succeed in their new job. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is joining us live right now with more on this story for us at 5. Matt. Well, Mark and Kaylin, before these new teachers step into their classroom to meet their new students, this week they're the ones heading back to school and learning some pretty important lessons. The great thing about Google Classroom is that you get the automatic email whenever the kids complete the assignment. From getting up to speed on classroom technology to building trust with their students. We're going to really be working on building community in a classroom with our students. For the next few days, it's New Haven's newest teachers who are the ones learning. Going over curriculum, expectations, um, and all that. All part of a new educator academy, providing these teachers with what they'll need to know before starting the school year. I've known that I want to be a teacher for a, a long time. Next week, Joshua Levine. Ritterman will begin that career, teaching 7th and 8th grade social studies. So this academy is a perfect start. We have some challenges in New Haven, but our kids deserve the best, so we want to make sure that those new teachers have a support system. Not only investing in these new teachers, but with so many districts dealing with teacher shortages, hopefully retaining them. And while many are brand new to the profession, some are returning to the Elm City after a number of years. It's great to see so much fresh blood um, and definitely it's different faces, different backgrounds. While others, like Emilio Reales, a Spanish teacher with more than 30 years experience, is new to New Haven. When I started, there was nothing like this. So we have to, we were throwing in and you either swim or you sink. So these few days, hitting on everything from curriculum and planning, can clear up so many questions. What to expect, how to handle, and who to go to when they need support. Something new teachers like Joshua are banking on. A trick, a tool, a connection that I can use to try and better myself as a new teacher or to, use to try and help my students. Now the New Teacher Academy runs for two more days, including a field trip to a number of New Haven neighborhoods on Friday. On Monday, all of New Haven's 2,500 teachers, they will be here for the convocation to start the new school year. And then a week from tomorrow, well, that's when classes begin. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.